Knoll Street Apartments. Marconi is sitting in his bedroom on the computer wearing a set of headphones, listening to a radio program. Marconi takes off the headphones and picks up his cell phone to make a telephone call. Hi, Raina. It's Michael. How's everything in New York, Michael? Not good, Raina. I've been followed by agents and helicopters all day. Do you remember when I asked you where I could mail a letter? Yes, Michael. Well, when we went to the Mima Mounds, I found a red Chinese envelope with coins in it. You mean like the coins Mel Waters found on his property? Exactly, Raina. I didn't make the connection until I listened to the Mel's whole CD again. Oh, you mean the one that I sent you? I had a feeling that that CD would have something to do with your research regarding the Mel's whole hollow earth theory. After listening to the CD again, I remembered the letter that I mailed to myself in New York. When I looked at the coin, I noticed that it was the same 1943 Franklin D. Roosevelt dime that Mel Waters talked about in his appearance on Coast to Coast AM with Art Bell. That's the same dime Mel Waters found in his property. Yes, that's exactly right, Raina. When I discovered that, I took the dime to the Stax coin dealer, and they acted very strangely when I showed it to them. The man wanted to know where I had found it. The next thing I knew, I was being chased by agents when I came out of the New York Public Library. Michael, they know you have the coin. Yes, Raina, they certainly do. The Roosevelt dime even has the B marking on it. They're going to try to confiscate the coin, Michael, just like they did to Mel Waters, and the guys who visited him were treasury officials. This coin, Raina, may be proof of a parallel universe. Richard Hoagland called during the original broadcast and said, normal time travel could not explain what Mel Waters talked about, but there is one thing that could, and that was a parallel universe. That's exactly right, Raina. Yes, I agree. A parallel universe. Hoagland went on to say that there could be a universe in which similar things occurred, but with different outcomes. A lot of our best scientists are saying this may very well be the case. You know, Raina, there could be a universe in which the Nazis won the war. Yes, Michael, and the B marking on the coin could stand for Berlin. Yes, Raina, and that might explain Admiral Byrd's secret diary regarding meeting advanced beings with flying machines in the center of the Earth. Michael, that could also explain why someone didn't want you to search for the tunnel under Mount Shasta that leads to an ancient Lemurian civilization. Yes, Raina, this is all making perfect sense now. Michael, you are connecting the dots. That's what they're afraid of. That's why they've gone to great lengths to try and stop you from finding out the truth. Yes, yes, Raina. I know now what Bobby McCoy meant when he said, you'll know the answer when you see it. McCoy picks up the 1943 Franklin D. Roosevelt dime and holds it in the palm of his hand and stares at it for a moment. Michael, the answer is right in front of you. Yes, Raina. The way to the answer is to evaluate everything and everyone. Don't accept it just because, just because it is true. Accept 50% of what you hear and investigate the rest. Yes, Michael. It seems like your journey has taken you a long way. Raina, I have traveled many miles and have met so many beautiful people along the way. I have discovered that we have more in common than I could have ever imagined. I have gained valuable insight from my time spent with you and Bobby McCoy. The life lesson experiences I have gained are priceless. You know, Michael, I am very touched. Raina, we have come here with the answers. We blind ourselves to the answers. Most people spend a lifetime and never figure it out. Michael, that is very profound wisdom. Raina, the answers are within all of us. All we have to do is choose to see. It is so complex, yet so simple. You are what you believe. I believe the war is over. I believe that sunshine will follow rain and everything will work out. Your beliefs are what you are.